Welcome to Roll Gay Roleplay, a real gay, real play D&D podcast. I'm Chris the DM, and it's my birthday today. Oh. Happy birthday! <gasps> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god, now I feel awful. I don't. No one I said anything. <laughs> is it really your birthday? <laughs> it yes. is really his birthday. Huh. Uh, that's not true, because uh, Steven said happy birthday in the Discord yesterday. Yes. I mean, Stephen doesn't work with Christopher on a weekly basis. Right. I need. I will put. I need to put something in there about his birthday. Well, anyway. we'll get you next time. Your Facebook told me, but I don't ever know if Facebook is right. That's fair. Is face? Oh shit. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna post on your Facebook wall like an ant. That's exactly what I got today. A lot of those that I'm not going to respond to. Ants. I oh, hope you one. Was it? I thought you meant ants. You got a lot of ants right. today. Good luck and best dishes from our kitchen to yours. I'm Paula Dean. I mean, happy birthday. We're not Paula Dean. <laughs> yes, Paula Dean. Paula Dean is way more, how do you call it? Georgian, Georgian Southern. Like to me, the more, how did I, how, Paula Dean. I don't know. It's more sing-songy and more, more Southern to me. And I hate to say it, but no, I won't say it. How you gonna, how you gonna leave us on a cliffhanger like that? But you support like her. I do not support Paula Dean. Didn't she just have like a big huge party at like a plantation thing that was like plantation themed? Yeah, and all the servers were people of color. Yeah. Yikes. And also, I don't eat butter. <laughs> oh shit! They don't make v gutter. They do make v gutter. <sighs> Never call it that ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never, ever, ever. I'm exhausted. Let's get this party started. Is it a party? <laughs> Sorry, let's start bullying. <laughs> start bullying. You guys didn't introduce yourselves at all, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name's Katie, and I got so distracted by the fact that it's Chris's birthday that I almost forgot my own name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandon, and it's not my birthday. Rude. Hi, I'm Tisha, and I like V Gutter. Gutter? Oh, God. Veg, oh. veg, 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 That's worse. Vegetter. That's, <laughs> That's not making it better. Vagutter. Uh, hi, I am Archbishop Iconoclast, the usurper of birthdays, and it's now my birthday. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. All your birthday are belong to us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what's on the agenda for today? Well, first on the agenda is to thank our newest patrons, because I did not do that during the Summer Camp Slasher episodes. So first, I'm going to thank our newest bucketeer, Daniel. Thank you for joining the Patreon. Hope you enjoy all the bonus episodes and everything we post on there. And I have two new pickles to thank, which is our top tier Patreon. So thank you, Christopher, and thank you, Cameron, for joining as pickles of our eye. You have a merch pack that is being shipped out this week, so you should be receiving it soon. Until then, enjoy everything that we have on our Patreon. And welcome to the Patreon family. We look forward to getting to know you more. I know during one of the gay agendas in the curse season, I said we were going to have a tea time and a library in the same episode, but we actually decided to split them up. We recorded them separately, and honestly, it's just too long to work together. So this week is library only, and then next week we will have a tea time, and it'll be a slightly longer episode because we got a lot of questions from you guys. So yes, and in order to do the library, I'm going to read the real disclaimer. The library is about to open. All views expressed come from a place of love and are not to be taken seriously. The digs will be deep, the reeds will be filthy, and the cast will be dragged. We do not warranty the accuracy of this information. All participants understand that in the library there are no rules and no offense will be taken. Listen at your own risk. I thought we burned this bitch down last time. (laughs) Uh It has been revived, and as the winner of the last library, as voted by our listeners, I will choose the order. You bitch. So I'm going to open again this time. I will start, Katie will go second, Jonathan will go third, Tisha will go fourth, and Brandon can close. Okay. Wait. I think he put you in the shittiest spot, Jonathan. 
No, that's fine. Cause I, trust me, I ain't got shit. Um, cause I was gonna sing, like sing your reads, but guess who doesn't have a fucking voice? Cause it's all clouded up with mucus and snot. Oh no. Yeah, like I had living on a prayer. Can we? I mean, so Brandon never wins. Like, I mean, I don't win either. But Brandon never wins. But Brandon has good reads. But he just always gets overshadowed by um, everybody else. So, is it because they're better than him? <laughs> The reads haven't started yet. Stop. You're <laughs> bullying. I, yeah, here's Brandon's chance to win. We, we can't go after him on this one. See? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Oh, Saving okay. the best for last. Hope, hopefully. I will take pity placement. Don't don't let us down, damn it. Yeah, either way, I promise we're starting strong. So <laughs> I only wrote like five for each of you. Don't starting worry. Strong. If I've learned nice. anything from going early in all of the other ones, we'll forget all about your reads by the end. Yes, please. Yeah, all right. Library open, glasses on, everyone good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did you know there are three types of cult leaders? The preacher turned egomaniac, the hard and fast narcissist, and the delusional martyr. But I think they forgot one. The bunny collecting summer fruit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> fruit. Yeah, Katie is what you would call a summer fruit. At least until she eats so much watermelon that she passes out and can't move. Then she becomes a summer vegetable. Uh, Katie doesn't post much on social media, but if you want to know what she looks like, think Eminem circa 2001. Baggy shirt, shaved head, bucket hat. (laughs) And Katie, I really like your shaved head look. Uh, It makes you look like a kid that gets picked on, but by the other kids at St. Jude's. You're going to hell. I know. (laughs) But that makes sense because of all the weed, right? Yeah. I've actually lost count on how many times I've had to edit out the sound of a bong rip from Katie's audio. The only thing on this podcast higher than Katie is Jonathan's blood pressure. Oh, <laughs> oh bitch. I do, Jonathan, I do appreciate you being open about your health concerns with us. It's nice knowing who's going to die first. <laughs> be the first time you kill a character. <laughs> uh, Jonathan is so gay, if he was a Mortal Kombat character, he'd be Sindel's hair whip. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I like that one. Jonathan's nickname in college was Glazed Donut because all of his holes were covered in cum. Oh my god. That one was too on the nose. It was too on the nose. It was too easy. <laughs> too easy. Also in college, right? Uh, <laughs> most of the cast <laughs> Most of the cast is on TikTok. If you search for me at Chris Drinks Lemonade, you will find a real life influencer. If you search for Brandon on TikTok, you'll find an ad for better help because it assumes you need therapy. And if you search for Jonathan on TikTok, the act will shrug. <laughs> With all the work that you two have put into your TikToks, how does it feel knowing that Tisha has gone more viral than both of you combined? <laughs> I have a video that got 5 million views. I will kill you. Oh, my viral assistant. Tisha looks like she has a dirty dick. <laughs> what? Do I? She smells like it, too. Do I really? Uh, Tisha is so old, her vaginal walls have cave drawings. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can they be the cool cave drawings that if you shine the light in a certain way, it looks like the elephant is raging? Knowing what we do about you is probably just woolly mammoths. (laughs) Uh, Tisha considers herself eclectic, and by that she means she has a mirror facing her bed because she likes eye contact while she masturbates. I get it. I get it, Tisha. Tisha has had to create her own intimacy since the Berlin Wall has been smashed more recently than her. Speaking of bad architecture, Brandon. Those are three perfect transitions, by the way, just in case we're keeping score. Shame you can't do that in the podcast. Brandon has a voice that can turn you on and a face that makes you reconsider. (laughs) Brandon is so full of himself, his ego is almost as big as his forehead. (laughs) That colorful hair in your face don't hide everything. How dare you? My poor receding hairline. (laughs) Uh, you know, we never acknowledge Brandon's weight loss journey, and I think we should. Brandon lost 150 pounds. That's what I'm assuming your boyfriend weighed when he broke up with you. Oh, oh my God. Oh. To be fair, I wrote most of my reads before the breakup, and I just don't feel like I should be penalized just because you can't hold down a relationship, <laughs> so I'm going to read them anyway. Uh, that was not written before breakup, <laughs> sir. <laughs> no, that one wasn't. Uh, these were, though. We normally use he, him pronouns for Brandon, but it's important to remember that Brandon has no pronoun preference, so he, she, they all work. Unlike Brandon's boyfriend, who told me his pronouns are, please untie me, I miss my family. 
Oh mm. my god. I guess you'll have to not lose, huh? <laughs> Another difference between Brandon and his boyfriend is Brandon is gay and his boyfriend is Pan. What? Of course, Pan is short for panicking hostage. I guess now it's res for rescued. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, Brandon. I'm sure you'll capture someone new soon. Cover your drinks, Orlando. Oh my god. Before I take my reading glasses off, I want you all to know that you will never be as famous as me, but I'm cheering for each and every one of you. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. I remove my reading glasses. Uh, now that Chris has absolutely annihilated you, everyone knows that I'm really, really bad at this. So uh, Chris threw me his sloppy seconds. He's uh, my reading eye dog for this challenge, if you will. And like every pet owner, we all have our gripes about our dog. And Chris, my gripe is you're really messy, really messy, but that's okay. You're bisexual. It's a stereotype. You're also uh, chaotic. Always late. It's true. And much like any pet, it's lots of fun to dye your hair. Lots of fun colors. Speaking of uh, disaster queers, Tisha looks like every single white woman's Pinterest board. But Jonathan's white girl, Autumn, or sorry, Christian girl, Autumn, is essentially the same thing. They all have a Pinterest board and it looks like exactly like Tisha's house. Live, laugh, lesbian. Inside of a home goods threw up. And that's how Tisha creates her homey space. Isn't she so unique and eclectic, everyone? How did you find out? Live, laugh, lesbian. Brandon, I know that you live in Florida. I know that you live in Florida. That's just a burn. Brandon, I'm not sure how you live in Florida and are the same color of Mark Zuckerberg that one time he went surfing in Hawaii. Just like that zinc oxide pale glow. It's the skin of a killer, Bella. <laughs> Also, um, I know that finding a boy to date can be hard, but I really think you need to get over your commitment issues first. And I'm not talking about guys. I'm talking about your hair dye. You might want to find a hair dye that sticks around longer than the guys you date. <laughs> Things seem to fade really, really fast. I'm blaming Chris for that one. <laughs> that was actually not mine. all me. <laughs> really? Not mine. Yeah. I didn't know you could be so cruel. <laughs> Jonathan, as someone who has to play off your characters, please, God, go to therapy. If I have to deal with one more character driven by your trauma, I swear to God, I'm going to turn myself into a little doll. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to use inner turmoil as a character feature. <laughs> That's it. Good job, Katie. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. And our next guest, Jonathan. Sorry, I had to go. I had to go do something. Oh my gosh, did you miss all of Katie's reads? Probably. She just read you, and it was really good, and you weren't even here for it. I, I'm look. I'm literally fighting for my life with this mucus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Katie. I'm sure you read the fuck out of me. I'm proud of you. Um, probably didn't top uh, the um, mass murder that Chris committed today, but you know, <laughs> um, nice being number two. Okay, um, man. Chris really went the dick route, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While we wait for Jonathan. Chris was really mean. I'm really happy I got some of the less mean ones. No, I think... <laughs> I can't believe you guys would use my breakup. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't worry, Brandon. I didn't use it. Thank you. I didn't need to. <laughs> or did I? Or okay. did I? <laughs> oh, do you want to know a good self-burn? Yes. I uh, I went to Pride this weekend, and they were handing out, like, protection, like, dental dams and condoms and stuff. And I and I was like, I won't need one of those. <laughs> Not anytime soon. Aww. Leave it for someone who's going to use it. Also, I love how Chris just suddenly went to, like, make up stuff about me. Yeah. That's where I'm at with you. I definitely don't have an old <laughs> vagina with cave drawings in it. <laughs> that dick is dirty as fuck. <laughs> Prove it. But my dick is dirty. You're right. Because I just used it. Hey. Oh. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I didn't. I'm just kidding. I wish. All right. Um. So uh, I don't have any reads for Tisha and Katie. You're great. You did awesome. I love you so much. But you know who's not great? Christopher, fuck you. Because your reads were too fucking good. <laughs> um. So anyway, uh, Chris, I can tell those voice acting lessons are really paying off. It reminds me of Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy, where we all play along and pretend like you aren't the same character everywhere you go. 
And speaking of, uh, Brandon, you should also start taking uh, voice acting lessons too because your constant use of a Southern accent is starting to sound real Robert E. Lee. It's starting to sound real Appomattox Courthouse. It's starting to sound real, this was the war of Northern aggression. (laughs) (laughs) The end. Damn. How do I follow that up? I only did Southern this time because Tisha did Southern. I'm, I'm me. I'm, I did make him do Southern, but cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So it's my turn, I guess. Uh, I used to think that the only way to roast Katie is to make up lies about her because, you know, she's so cute, young, innocent, naive. Gullible, exploitable, malleable, <laughs> acquiescent, fictile. Katie, stop me if I say a word that you'd like me to define for you. And you have problems with that sometimes. Come on, thesaurus. <laughs> Equial, I think, is that one. I think Equial is one that I didn't know. Brandon, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your breakup, but, you know, that's what happens when you settle for less than you deserve. Hmm. I hope he's learned his lesson. <laughs> Speaking of low hanging fruit, Chris. Fuck you. I hope by now you've looked up what a read is, because if I have to sit through one more library listening to middle school style yo mama jokes, I'm going to fly up to Illinois and fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan. No, fuck you. I feel bad doing this because you didn't read me. But our wannabe badass, our wannabe devil may care, our wannabe modern housewife, all of these things that you want to be or emulate, you know, they have a saying you are what you eat. And. Judging from all your foodie TikToks recently, it's right. You're just a warm mess, hun. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Not even a hot mess. Okay. Um, don't you eat? Don't you eat tofu and dirt all day? Like, ma'am, don't play with me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I thought that we had that whole disclaimer where feelings weren't going to be hurt, Jonathan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You cannot Ooh. put your nutritional yeast in a microwave and call it a meal, ma'am. All right. You know we forgot the disclaimer this time. I don't even own a microwave, bitch. Jokes on you. <laughs> Tisha, so crunchy granola. I warm my food by the sun. Yes, pioneer woman. <laughs> okay okay it is shocking to me how many language demographics we hit as a podcast tisha speaks like what four languages five chris speaks several we even have the illiterates covered seeing as jonathan can't read (laughs) you got jokes bitch yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not great but they're jokes for sure (laughs) okay let's nip this in the bud Calm down, Tisha. I know I just said nip. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, Jonathan. Your accents are such mildly offensive, cartoonishly poor imitations that you'd think they belonged in the World (laughs) Showcase at Disney Epcot. Uh, uh, That was good. (laughs) They're bad. (laughs) Speaking of Disney... Uh, That's actually Chris's type in relationships. We all know that he dated a Disney princess, and it also explains why he's now married to the sloth from Zootopia. (laughs) (laughs) Chris, I'm so sorry that we missed all of your off-speech patterns in that wedding preparation episode, but I think I speak for everyone when I say... I legitimately can't tell the difference now when you're doing a funny voice or if you gave yourself another late night concussion and just decided to sleep it off. (laughs) That was really good. (laughs) Oh, Tisha. Living proof that you can take the girl out of the trailer park, but she's just going to move to Tampa anyway, so why bother? (laughs) Good thing Edith's mug isn't real, because if you were holding it in real life, all it would say is, Meh. (laughs) 
I just, I always have the hardest time writing things for Tisha. What can I joke about? Foster care, growing up in a trailer park, thinking owning a home in Tampa is a step up from growing up in a trailer park. (laughs) Maybe that's why she's so desperate for pussy that she literally lets stray cats into her doggy door. (laughs) That was really good. That was really good. It's really good. <laughs> and Katie, I'm not going to wait for a response because you're probably eating a bagel right now. <laughs> you have such severe secondhand embarrassment that they refuse to re-listen to past episodes. They don't want to hear their own voice. Neither do we, hun. Neither do we. <laughs> I do love the buzzed head look, though. Are you trying to trick some cottagecore lesbian into thinking you're a chia pet they can take care of? (laughs) And Mark, I do often see your name pop into chat muted. I see you listening, you voyeuristic little bitch. You ain't slick. (laughs) We love how Hogan keeps coming back for little cameos, but in order for us to miss you, you have to stay gone. Finn. Very nice. Well, that is the conclusion of the library, right? We have no overdue books. We're all happy with what we said. Is that the end of yours, Brandon? It is the end of mine. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I feel like I feel like were you actually offended? I th- No, no. Okay. No. I thought it was funny. They just get meaner. I know. <laughs> As the libraries go on. Uh, So, listeners, that is our library episode. We will be back next week for Tea Time. And let us know in Discord on social media who you think won this library. We will award them the winner of it. It's me, I know it is. Tisha! Bitch! Uh, I'm throwing away my library card. Uh, Hello! (laughs) (laughs) Why else do I pay Uh, Yes, let us know. Find us on social media, on Discord, on our website, rollgayroleplay.com. You know who we all are. You know how to find us. So until next time. No, but for real, if they don't choose you, Chris, I will be offended. Because you were not serious? Did you not hear my reads? They weren't better than Chris's, girl, calm. Are you kidding? All he said is, I'm more famous than you. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) I think we can all agree that Jonathan was the worst. Oh, yeah, because I didn't have half my reads today. Missing assignment. The reads you had were pretty good. You are sick. Like, but not like sick, cool, like sick, ew. <laughs> not funny, haha. <laughs> funny, weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Chris is trying to end the episode. <laughs> All good. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>